Hello everybody, Jeffrey Kruger here. What I have is I have bearing halves over this crankshaft and they are assembled dry. They um, they fit really nice. Everything has been uh, in line, bored and reamed and everything. And so to size but I want to guarantee that this is never going to seize up once it's been finally assembled and on the field so as long as it always has oil it should always be just about right but Murphy's Law is always there so we want to do everything we can to keep that from happening so I just turn this a little bit but you can, there's a little bit of snugness here see a little bit just a tiny little bit but even if it was perfectly smooth like you like it you're still going to want to do this procedure these it's called wiping a bearing if you had a 100 horsepower electric motor you'd have bronze bearings two of them and you'd leave all the oil out with all this if this bearing was only an eighth of an inch wide you wouldn't worry about it but these bearings are five-eighths of an inch wide each one of them there's a lot of surface area there on a, on a hundred horsepower electric motor you have uh, three four inches there so uh, but what well, how it works is you assemble like the electric motor for example and you would assemble it without any oil and you could probably turn it with your hands but you want to start up that motor and it'll run come up to speed it'll squeal start to seize once it starts to seize you drop whoops I don't want to get oil in there you drop oil into the oil reservoir a couple shots and it'll break free and then you shut her down and uh, you fill up the oil reservoirs and uh, the oil rings will keep those bearings lubricated and you won't have to worry about it seizing up in about a week and coming back but this little uh, this little stuff here is a little bit a little bit different it's going to take a long time it's not going to just seize up right away, and it might not even seize up at all. But I'm just saying, it's it's, it's uh, we're going to run it in a lathe and see what happens. These things are always different. So here we go. Start up the lathe. This is between centers. Don't ever try this ever. Don't ever do that. It's very dangerous. Way I'm doing this. I'm listening for any squeaks or any anything or any sign. I, I've used this lathe for years. If I hear any sign of any laboring or anything like that, it's a little easier for me to hear that. But these bearings here will. run quite a while. And now if I had oil in there and on these bearings, they could run a week like that and you could shut it off and be exactly the same tightness as what I just showed you before the video. But I, I'm hearing a little bit of resistance. So yeah, I can hear a few little squeaks popping up. Just a little bit. The peaks of the metal on the smooth shaft and the peaks of the metal on the bronze will tear on each other a little bit. That's what you want. So when the oil finally flows where it's supposed to flow, you won't have to have interruption of those micro peaks between the two surfaces and you'll have a nice lubrication only requires just a few drops of oil. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit. I'm going to give it a couple drops here.
Oh yeah, that feels lots. Oh, that's nice. That's coming in real nice. I can just, oh, that feels good. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and just run that in with a little bit of oil in there. That's going to be beautiful in about 20 minutes. So thank you very much.